एवरी वन माई सेल्फ सुप्रिया पसनूर वर्किंग एज एन असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सिविल डिपार्टमेंट फ्रॉम वॉल्टन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डिजाइन ऑफ द डॉग लाइक स्टेरकेस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द डॉग लाइक स्टेरकेस सो दीज आर द लर्निंग आउटकम्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू ड्रॉ द नीट ड्रॉइंग्स ऑफ डिफरेंट बिल्डिंग कॉम्पोनेंट्स सच एज द डोर्स द विंडोज एंड द स्टेरकेसेस so there are different types of the building components so out of this we are going to discuss about the staircase so staircase also there are different types such as the dog leg staircase the simple staircase that is the straight staircase open well staircase bifurcated staircase so among all these types we are going to discuss about the dog leg staircase so the dog leg staircase they are used in the residential buildings the commercial buildings any type of the public buildings so this is the data which is provided the staircase block size is given to you as 2 meter by 4.6 meter so note that all the dimensions they are in meters and the scale which is used is 1 is to 30 you are supposed to draw this staircase using the mini drafter so here i am uh, using the normal scale so using the mini drafter itself is uh, needed to draw the staircase block so the staircase size is given to you as 2 meter by 4.6 meter and the floor to floor height is given to you as 3.2 meter so let us consider that this is a public building so let uh, assume we will assume the size of the riser as 15 cm so as it is a public building so depending upon the size of the riser you can find the number of the risers that is the height of the each floor divided by the size of the riser so height of each floor means the you are going to design a dog like staircase so there are two floors that is the uh, you have the floor to floor height that is 3.2 m so divide it by 2 you get 1.6 meter so this is how the number of the risers you will be finding as height of each floor divided by the size of the riser that is overall you get 10.66 then round it off you get 11 number of the risers so note that number of trades are less than number of risers so let us assume the trade size is 25 cm so number of trades will be number of risers minus 1 that is number of risers are 11 minus 1 this is 10 that is number of trades are 10 so as you have the size of the riser and number of trades you can find out the space occupied by the trades as you have the size of the block with you that is the length of the block is 4.6 meter so let us see what is the space occupied by the trades so 25 is the size of the riser and number of the trades is 10 so likewise you get 250 cm the space occupied so let us see what is the width of the tier width of the stair So as you have the uh, width of the staircase block as two meter, so let us take that the landing width will be one meter. So the landing width is always equal to the width of the stair. So width of the stair will be also one meter, and the landing width will be one meter. So let us see what is the space left for the passage. As you have the length of the block as four point six meter, so four point six meter minus one meter is the landing slab, and minus the space occupied by the trades. so likewise you get the space left for the passage it is 1.1 meter so from that you have only the staircase block size with you so let us uh, assume the thickness of the wall as 2 20 cm so the these are the sizes of the openings that is the door opening and the window opening so the door size is 1.2 meter by 2.1 meter 1.2 meter is the width of the door whereas the 2.1 meter is the height of the door so when you draw the plan of the staircase over there the width of the door will be visible to you likewise the height of the door will be seen in the sectional elevation so the window size overall is 1.2 meter by 1.2 that is the size uh, height and the width is same it is a square window so depending you have to first of all design this uh, staircase depending upon the data which is given to you decide uh, the number of the risers and the number of the trades from that you are going to design the staircase block so this is the dog leg staircase so first of all the internal uh, internal that is the clear uh, block size is given to you that is 2 meter is the width of the block and 4.6 meter is the length of the block so you have to convert it into scale the scale is taken as 1 is to 30 so as they are in meters first of all convert it into centimeter that is 2 meter means in 200 it can, it will be in centimeter that is 200 centimeter so divide it by the scale what is given to you as 30 so according to that you have you are going to get the dimension of this convert it into 
1 is to 30 all the dimensions whatever they are available you have to convert it into scale and using the mini drafter you are going to draw this drawing so this width is taken as 2 meter and then 4.6 meter is the length now the uh, staircase the cleared staircase block is drawn and then you have the width of the staircase block that is the thickness of the wall uh, the thickness of the wall is given to you as 20 centimeter so take the overall thickness of the wall for for all the four corners of for all the four sides of the block and then uh, using this the staircase block is completed now then you have to decide where the door to be placed so in front of the staircase block that is uh, in front of the straight uh, one of the flight the door is placed that is around from the corner you have to leave a 20 centimeter gap and then place the door over here and the window it is centrally placed in one of the side of the staircase block the staircase block size is given to you as 1.2 meter so this is the width 1.2 meter which is seen from the top view of that and the overall height uh, of the window will be seen in the elevation so this uh, here is the width of the door taken which is 1.2 meter so now you have the width of the flight that width of the staircase block it is 2 meter so you have the landing slab landing width it is taken as 1 meter so just uh, divide it into two parts you get the landing of 1 meter that is nothing but the width of the staircase so here you have to take two flights as it is a dog like staircase and then decide the space occupied first of all you are going to take the size of the landing that is 1 meter so from this corner itself draw it a 1 meter gap this is the landing and let's see what is the space occupied by the trade it is 2.7 meter 2.5 meter sorry so then from this you have to take 2.5 meter draw the second vertical line so this is what the space occupied by the trades is and then remaining the remaining part will be the passage which is left for left as 1.1 meter so this is how the overall length of the staircase block is drawn so now you have this uh, size of the trade which is given to you as 25 centimeter so convert it into scale and then draw the size of the trade that is overall you have 10 trades so in the top view when you see a staircase block trades will be visible to you whereas in the sectional elevation you have the risers and the trades both that is a step it uh, step includes both the riser and the trade so here you are going to draw 10 risers sorry you are going to draw 10 trades in a single flight so here after climb after climbing the staircase you have a landing over here where you rest for some time and then have a change in the direction which leads to the first floor so this is the ground floor and this is the first floor which leads to the first floor so likewise this is the staircase block so now to draw the sectional elevation that is the sectional view xx draw the sectional line over here xx then take all the projections whatever they are available that is this corner the wall thickness over here at the two corners you have to take the wall thickness and then the take the take the projections of all the trades right so now this is the floor level sectional view view first of all you have the floor level that is the ground floor level and then this is the projection of the trade which is taken so while starting here you immediately don't start with the trade itself so before before the straight before the trade you have the riser over there so the riser size is given to you as 15 centimeter so using the mini drafter uh, draw the height of the riser that is 15 centimeter and then uh, draw the trade this trade is nothing but the top view of this so this is how the trade and the risers are drawn using these projections after drawing this trade you have to take again the projections of the riser and then again the trade so likewise here 10 uh, number of trades are to be drawn and then this is the uh, after uh, this is the last trade where it ends so after that you have the landing slab over here so this is what the landing slab is drawn over here this is the landing slab and then immediately after this you have a change in the direction this is the second flight over here so to climb the second flight also instead of starting from the trade itself you have to start with the riser so so that is what the number of the risers are more than the number of the trades so first of all you have the riser and then again the trade is there so likewise this is the uh, this is the elevation of the complete staircase so for this steps to support that you have the vertical members that is called as the balusters and to the balusters to support all the balusters you have the handrail so that a person can easily uh, easily uh, climb climb easily 
so for this handrail and the balusters you have the navel post navel posts are provided at the top and the bottom member of the staircase block so here you can see after the landing slab at a height of 0.6 meter a window is placed window height is 1.2 meter as it is given in the data so this is how the window is placed over here it uh, it, it won't be placed immediately after the landing slab itself so after a uh, height of 0.6 meter you have to place the window over here so the navel post uh, navel post height is around it is around 0.9 meter the navel post height is around 0.9 meter you have to take 0.9 meter over here and this is also 0.9 meter so likewise join these two vertical lines you get an inclined slab so over here the parallel to that you have an inclined slab over here also that is called as the waist slab so this is the inclined line to draw that you have to take the pitch of the pitch of the angle that is the uh, it will it will be around 25 degrees so this is how the say, uh, this is how the inclined slab is drawn so it will be parallel to uh, to the line of the nosing so likewise the same the second flight also the inclined slab has to be drawn so it, uh, here you can check that this flight it leads to the first floor so likewise calculate the height from the first floor to the ground floor that will be around 3.2 meter which is given so likewise this is how the uh, dog leg staircase elevation is drawn including all the members of the staircase that is the uh, riser the tree the handrail balusters and the navel post and this is the waist slab which is around 15 cm thickness so this is the concrete shown in that so this is how the uh, dog leg staircase has to be drawn so here are the mcqs uh, in dash all steps lead in one direction only first option turning steps second is the circular steps third is the straight steps fourth is the geometrical steps hope so you have got the answer for this yeah this is the answer these are the references thank you